it certainly didn't take Hollywood long for them to remind everybody why so many people would have been completely fine if they never went back to work. Less than 24 hours after this tentative agreement between the writers and the studios, after a nearly five-month-long strike for them to get back to work, still has to be ratified and voted on by people, but in all likelihood, it probably will bring the strike to an end. But less than a day after that, we get the first big announcement that once it does officially end, something's going to be going into the works that nobody asked for, that no one wanted, and once again, something that Hollywood is just going to continue to bastardize. The Office reboot is reportedly in development despite there being absolutely no need for one. Yes, they want to reboot the American version of The Office. That was the first report to come out after this writer's strike ended. Holy shit. The Office reboot in the works with Greg Daniels, according to Report. Now, The Office is probably one of my favorite shows of all time. It came out when I was in high school. I was probably like 16 or so, 2005, when it first came out. I watched the pilot episode the day it aired on NBC. I loved the show. I couldn't get enough of it. I ended up getting all the DVD sets as they came out. All of that stuff. And then obviously, when it went on to streaming, it gained a massive new audience that didn't even watch it while it was airing. Ran nine seasons, probably two seasons too long. Let's just be real. But still, a lot of people have very good feelings about that show. Well, don't worry. If you had any good feelings about it, they're likely going to be destroyed by this reboot. With the WGA having reached a tentative deal to end their five-month strike, a bevy of production announcements will soon come down. First up, according to Matt Bologna of Puck News, is word that Greg Daniels is rebooting The Office. Now, Greg Daniels was the creator of The Office, obviously, you know, adapted from the British comedy series The Office that came even in the earlier 2000s uh, with Ricky Gervais and all that stuff. But Greg Daniels worked on The Simpsons, King of the Hill, The Office. He'd go on to do Parks and Rec. So obviously a guy who's been in the industry a long time. Apparently he is... Is involved with this reboot. A revival of the beloved comedy has been bandied around for years with Jenna Fisher, Creed Bratton, uh, Leslie David Baker among the cast members who have expressed interest in rep- reprising their resp- respective characters. For his part, Daniels, who created The Office, had previously revealed he conceptualized a reboot that would feature a a mix of old and new cast members working out of the same Dunder Mifflin office in Scranton. However, he expressed his reluctance about following through on the idea, saying in 2019, quote, it was such a perfect thing that I would hesitate to open it up. We got the chance to end it in a way we wanted to end it. It wasn't like we were interrupted in the middle of a run or something. So in a sense, it's completely an artistic whole. My biggest concern would be disappointing the fans. People will watch the entire series, then roll right into watching it again. And to me, that means we ended it properly. I have probably rewatched this series like 20 times, 30 times, something insane like that, uh, because I do just enjoy it. But think of what a modern day reboot of The Office would be. Oh, you know what? We weren't diverse enough last time. Sure, we had some, we had some characters, we had some people of color, but they didn't play a focal enough role. We really need to diversify the main cast of characters. Oh, and you know some of those jokes you told before? That's just too offensive offensive for modern day. We know that. Like, we have heard the stars of the show speak out about this multiple times. Steve Carell says The Office probably wouldn't fly today because the climate's different. Basically, because of how sensitive people are, they wouldn't embrace this type of character, the type of character that people loved in 2005 through 2014. We've heard multiple times from people involved with this, they would never make a show like this today because they're too scared to do it. Uh, Listen to what Steve Carell said not that long ago, talking about reboot potential. This is years ago. There's been a resurgence of interest in the show. Talk about bringing it back, he said, while noting that more viewers are discovering now that it's on Netflix. But apart from the fact that I just don't think it's a good idea, it might be impossible to do that show today and have people accept it the way it was accepted 10 years ago. The whole idea of the character Michael Scott, so much of it was predicated on inappropriate behavior. He's certainly not a model boss. A lot of what it's depicted is completely wrong-minded. That's the point. But I just don't know if it would fly now. There's a very high awareness of offensive things today. But at the same time, when you take a character like that too literally, it doesn't really work. We've heard the same thing from multiple people involved with this show. This is a bad fucking idea. And the fact that this is one of the first announcements to come out of Hollywood after, you know, it looks like the strike is finally going to be ending. Oh, by the way, you know this beloved sitcom? We're going to reboot it. And in all likelihood, we're going to fucking destroy it. I think everybody understands what that would mean. 
Obviously, Greg Daniels said four years ago that he'd want to do right by the fans. So, you know, maybe he wouldn't destroy it. Maybe it would be just like the old version, but something tells me that wouldn't be the case. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.